The Russian intelligence apparatus appears to have been caught off guard by the deadly attack in Dagestan and, the call might be coming from inside the house. The local governor of Russia's Dagestan region fired a prominent politician in Russian President Vladimir Putin's United Russia party on Monday after reports surfaced that his sons and nephews were involved in the deadly attack in Dagestan over the weekend. Russian authorities had detained and interrogated the politician, Magomed Omarov, the head of Dagestan's Sergo Kolinsky district, on Sunday in connection to his relatives' alleged involvement. Five suspects have already been killed or eliminated, Russia's investigative committee announced. Two of those liquidated were Omarov's son, 31-year-old Osman Omarov, and his nephew, 36-year-old Ali Zakaragif. His 37-year-old son Adil Omarov was also killed, along with his other nephew, 32-year-old Abdusamad Amadzif. The regional governor, Sergei Melikov, said Magomed Omarov would be held fully accountable if the authorities find out he was involved himself. Omarov has been expelled from the United Party since Sunday. Sunday's attack, in which gunmen attacked religious places of worship and a police outpost in Derbent and Makhachkala in Dagestan, killed 21 people. Alizay Media, a media outlet associated with ISIS-K, an affiliate group of ISIS, claimed the attack was carried out following calls for attacks on behalf of ISIS. The attacks may have been coordinated by Walayat Kafkas, an ISIS sleeper cell. Russian lawmakers are working to cast blame on the West for the incident already, echoing claims from Russian authorities that Ukraine was responsible for the Moscow attack as well. During interrogation, Omarov acknowledged that his children were Wahhabis, or members of a Sunni Muslim sect. His children's work and connections have raised questions about just how close suspected terrorism circles are to prominent politicians in Russia. Osman Omarov, Omarov's son, appears to have a shady past. He reportedly had connections with Turkey and was recruited there. Ali Zakaragif, Omarov's nephew, was a former head of the Sergo Kolinsky district branch of a Just Russia party. Abdusamad Amidziv, another one of Omarov's nephews, previously worked as a mechanic and had no problems with the law before. Adil Omarov, another one of Omarov's sons, reportedly attended the Faculty of Law of Dagestan State University and participated in freestyle wrestling. ISIS-K, which claimed the Moscow shooting, praised the attack in Dagestan, noting that it was carried out by brothers in the Caucasus who showed that they are still strong. It's not just Russia that's on edge about the rising scourge of terrorism. ISIS-K recently plotted numerous other attacks on other European countries. According to the State Department, dismantling ISIS-K clandestine urban cells has proven difficult in recent years. ISIS has been able to regroup and plan attacks in Europe and Asia ever since the United States botched withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021. As France prepares for the Olympics, the U.S. intelligence community is gearing up on security support work.